welcome everybody <laughs> can we celebrate jesus somebody give him praise somebody tell the lord i love you i'm here because of you and who you are for me I am grateful that I know you. Ambrosia ya moto robosi ya rabaka sataraba. Somebody put a demand on the spirit and talk to the Lord. Take 30 seconds and stir up your spirit and and continue to talk to the Lord Jesus. He is the lover of our souls. Hide me. We're going to take a few more minutes and welcome the presence of God here. His presence is already here, but let it magnify upon you. Let the presence of God be magnified. somebody say welcome to a place and you can take your seats mm-hmm. 
welcome to people on zoom <laughs> we have not forgotten our zoom audience thank you for joining me for this beautiful evening welcome to all of you one more time i see some new faces welcome thank you for coming i pray that god will meet you at the point of your need the bible says something very powerful it says my people who my people perish because of lack of knowledge not the people of the world not the people who don't know their god but the people who know their god my people perish for lack of knowledge so it is you got it already that is very quick hope my gain is not too high you know something about the people of god i i believe you are very blessed set of people this evening because we are here and sometimes god's way of appointment is very very different and i want to declare over you that god way is such that he will turn your disappointments into his appointments you know something about god that he would he would use your lowest point to meet you at his point and that place of disappointment becomes god's appointment and if you are here today i believe that is what is happening you know if i'm not calling each one of you and prophesying i'm already prophesying over you that because he is your maker he is the one who made you so this verse is saying something oh this is nkjv version look at that what it says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge wow my people are destroyed my people it's very it's very sad to read that because how can god's people be destroyed and the bible answers itself because of lack of knowledge knowing your maker because there is an enemy whether you like it or not he thrives on somebody that does not know their makeup who does not know their makeup and their maker what are you made of and when you don't know what you're made of and who your maker is and you missed knowing him he comes to destroy to steal to kill and to destroy but today i believe as you hear the word your knowledge of your god is increasing and we are preserved one more time I believe this evening as I was walking there in the back I began to sense that God is the god of sudden movements and sudden movements are about to happen let me give this word so that I will not be holding it back sudden movements are about to happen in certain people's life you have waited for a long 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 time for something to bear fruit and all of a sudden your appointed time is coming to the forefront and you're you're about to see what did not 
germinate what did not one more time what did not germinate the seed that did not germinate is about to germinate it's about to break its shell and about to you're about to see a visible manifestation of what you have contended for because one thing is for sure god is faithful maybe you have not seen him according to your timeline but his timeline is faithful so tell yourself that i am i am i'm going to be found on god's timetable and i'm about to see his faithfulness come reckoning at my door and i will know that my god is faithful one more time he's about to turn my disappointments into his appointments yeah 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 okay 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 so let's go to the book of judges chapter 6 that's where we're going to go today okay i am i am going to slowly talk and give you some revelation from this word and as you hear this word may the lord speak to you okay tell your neighbor may the lord speak to you through his word yeah judges chapter 6 okay we'll start from verse 1 verse 1 says prophet mm mm-hmm. then the children of israel did evil in the sight of the lord so the lord delivered them into the hand of midian for 7 years and the hand of midian prevailed against israel because of the midianites the children of israel made for themselves the dens the caves and the strongholds which are in the mountains so mm-hmm. it was whenever israel had sown midianites would come up also amalekites and the people of the east would come up against them then they would encamp against them and destroy the produce of the earth as far as gaza mm-hmm. and leave no sustenance for israel neither sheep nor ox nor donkey for and their tents coming in as numerous as locust both they and their camels were without number and they would enter the land to destroy it so israel was greatly impoverished because of the midianites and the children of israel cried out to the lord mm-hmm. and it came to pass when the children of israel cried out to the lord because of the midianites that the lord sent a prophet to the children of israel who said to them thus says the lord god of israel mm-hmm. i brought you up from egypt mm-hmm. and brought you out of the house of bondage and i delivered you out of the hand of the egyptians and out of the hand of all who oppressed you and drove them out before you and gave you their land also i said to you i am the lord your god do not fear the gods of the amorites in whose land you dwell but you have not obeyed my voice wow thank you thank you for reading the word let's look at this for a few minutes okay then the children of israel did evil in the sight of the lord so the lord delivered them into the hand of midian for 7 years something is so powerful here if you look at this word god's way of dealing sometimes is with lot of even though it looks wrong he is a very just god you with me he when the children of israel did evil in the sight of the lord the bible is saying so the lord delivered them into the hand of midian for 7 years so you need to think now and say okay what evil are we talking about if you go and look into the details you will see a lot of things but actually if you read through this you're with me if you read through this 
chapter, the thing that God considered evil was not what you and I are thinking evil was. Already, this should really bother us, okay? Because the reason is, you look at it at worst... Then, you read verse 1, right? You re we read verse 1 to 10. And verse 1 said, so the Lord delivered them. You know that God basically gave the enemy to have power over the Israelites. Correct? The enemy became more powerful. Everybody say this. The enemy became more powerful for seven years that he was able to attack the Israelites however he wanted. And that was God diminishing his power from the Israelites but allowing the, Midian, the Midianites to oppress Israel. Okay? But if you look at it in the detail, when this was no longer bearable, there is always something that happens. We cry out for help. The beauty of your valley is that, you know, have you, you know what's a valley? You know, mountain top valley. The beauty of a valley is that it naturally attracts all the nutrients, the minerals, the ingredients of the mountain top comes down to the valley. Keep that in mind. Sometimes your low points of your life become the very point of new understanding. If you are open to hear and perceive what God wants from you. Because a valley is a deep place where all the you know, minerals, nutrients, they flow down from the mountain. They come to the valley. They're not found on top. They're found in the depth of the valley. If you go and look for it, you can scoop some out. Isn't that amazing? And this is what is happening now. Israel is in a low point. And God has given the Midianites to have power over them. I have noticed something about this love of God. This is so powerful. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. God is too faithful. You might feel in your situations he has left you. But actually he's creating a capacity inside of you to find him afresh again. You know, it, it, it might look, it might look, oh no, God has given me up over. In fact, God has given given you up but he has not allowed you to be totally destroyed he's not allowed you to be finished and if there is breath left in you there is still an opportunity for you to know this living God who has still has a relationship which is of covenant with you Amen. so at this point the Israelites have, have done evil in his sight and they are not keeping the covenant of their God from their side. But God has not completely. This is, this is the essence. And I'm talking in a parallel. This is how every human's life is. There will be moments you will see losses. You will see heartbreaks. You will see disappointments. You will, think, you will see things not going in your favor. And you begin to wake up with a wake up call. And you begin to tell where is God? Are you talking to me? Where is God if he really loved me? Has he forsaken me? Believe me, child of God. If God completely forsakes you, the destroyer, the destroyer will for sure destroy you completely. Because he only comes to steal, kill and destroy. But if God's love is such that he will let you understand a season so that you can return back from your valley. 
collecting the best thing of God that you've never known. And you can climb up the mountain again with a new perspective, revelation and knowledge of your God. Yes, yes. Because, because sometimes people, we, we are so full of ourselves. When we are at our success, when we are at the top point of our life, sometimes many things can blind us. And we can't really see what we are supposed to see. See, when there was freedom, the, the Bible is saying, the children of Israel did evil and the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian for only seven years. Sometimes, the mercy, hear me slowly, the mercy of the long run comes with small um, movements of a valley. Is it making sense? For the mercy for the long run has to have a small pockets of valley in your life or else you will not extend your own mercy with God. We are lost forever. Yeah. You're thinking with me? Are you able to connect this? Because what happens is if we don't have a low point, sometimes some things cannot let us pursue God forever. This is why Apostle James says, count it all joy when you go through various trials. So basically, Apostle, uh, you know, James, can you go to the book of James for a second? For just for a moment, okay? And we're going to come back here. Hey, are you okay? Yes. You know, um, some of you are hearing me for the first time. I will slowly get there. You know, you will hear me what I'm about to tell you. James chapter 1 Verse 2, this is what it says. It says, My brethren, count mm -hmm. it all joy when you fall into various trials. Ah, this man of God, Apostle James, has a perspective. Not like you and me. His perspective is little different than the ordinary. He's saying, count it all joy. Ah, how am I going to count joy when I'm going through some trial? But this Apostle... James is saying, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. And next. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Oh, wow. That means every test you go through has the capacity to produce something out of your life. Sometimes some production capacities in our life have been stalled. You know, because, because we are on a monotonous, auto-mode Christianity where we're just doing the mundane lifestyle. Okay, God is good. God is, God is great. I, I go to church. I wake up. I pray. I have my quiet devotional. You know, I'm a good Christian. I, it's all okay. But you keep going in that path and nothing, adventure is happening now. And all of a sudden, there is a trial introduced and this trial begins to produce Something out of you which was actually in you. Oh, come on now. Because, because I want you to know there are potentials locked up inside of you which you have not tapped into. Don't tell me that God is a miracle worker only for some and not for you. Isn't he your God and my God? So he's supposed to be expected experienced by every individual who calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus. But if we are unable to experience something, that means there has to be a shock to our system. That shock will suddenly propel us to a direction to begin to know God differently. This is why in the book of Hosea, you just read my people perish or destroyed because of lack of knowledge. But what happens when you get a trial? You have an opportunity to see a side of God which you have not experienced before. If you stay on track and if you say, God, I'm not going to bail out, 
but i'm going to go through this trial but then i'm going to cry out to you god is suddenly opening something up for you to know his name better to know a side of him which you have never known this is why in the book of james chapter 1 verse 3 it is saying knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience and watch the next scripture it Let's says go. but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing Oof. do do you see the perspective of apostle james he is saying your testing of your faith produces it's reproducing something it's producing some production is happening through you and that production which is happening through you the bible is saying your faith your faith is producing something called as patience i'm not preaching about this but look at this for a minute but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect what god is trying to make you perfect god is trying to make you whole and complete perfect and complete the next sentence oh it's already on the screen lacking nothing yeah. that is why i said your disappointments can be turned into god's appointment in that valley you did not have that ingredients throughout your life but all of a sudden from another dimension called heaven from another dimension called the god realm through the sun through the holy spirit through the love of the father something is about to flow into you and you're about to gather something which you never had and your life is becoming whole and complete lacking nothing for the next journey ahead yeah. what i'm saying now is what you will see happen in judges chapter 6 go back there for a second and you will you will begin to see people on zoom how are you doing you still good yeah so when the midianites began to oppress israel what did they end up doing they were pushed into many things okay this is what happens so you know god's mercy is still available for them but they are acting in a certain way verse 2 is saying judges chapter 6 verse 2 verse 2 says mm-hmm. and the hand of midian prevailed against israel because mm-hmm. of the midianites the children of israel made for themselves the dens the caves and the strongholds which are in the mountains so look at this now they are oppressed from the enemy and they are building a system not a system of freedom a system of secure bondage oh my gosh you with me instead of let me go to the instead later they did not fight back the enemy they were securing what was left of them by creating dens and the bible says themselves the dens the caves and the strongholds which are in the mountains and it says because of the midianites what is it hear me out what is it that when you are being opposed in life who is causing you to do what please you know yeah. i won't be too long but i want to ask you certain questions who is causing you to do what are you reacting or responding to your life hey. wow. often times we find ourselves reacting through ourselves more than responding through god who is for you yeah. this god of the bible he says if god is for us who can be against us but we don't respond to situations through him we end up reacting through us mm? and this is what happens they thought 
the best thing they could do <coughs> was create dens create caves create strongholds which are in the mountains earned some i won't say you earned earned some of the christians like this in today when you're supposed to be rising up in your faith you're using the same faith to create a den around you and sit inside of it so hear me well today it is in your hands what you do with what you have you're either going to use it to promote your longevity and not just survive but thrive or you will go into a hiding and a survival mode it might look nice it might feel good ombre sayataka it might feel very secure at the moment but you're living at the mercy of the enemy you're still living at the mercy of the onslaught of the enemy out there the more and more you become defensive you lost the edge of what you need to be conquering you're you're working as somebody who's conquered and you just want to survive a season but my dear i want to tell you this evening if you have come here i want to announce over you that god is not looking at you just for survival he wants you to thrive he wants to end that valley out of the valley to the mountain top and this god the way he works is the way he brings faith and infuses himself into you at your lowest point maybe that's happening right now ombre sakataya maybe it's happening right now by the word of god coming to you you will find this out you thought when jesus arrives at the scene you know when the lord jesus arrives at the scene most of the times what we think is he's doing healing he's doing deliverance but look at the bible with a fresh perspective every time the lord jesus arrived at the scene he just thought the word hey hey come on after his resurrection he didn't do all the time miracles no no he just sat down and he said for 40 days after being resurrected he thought the kingdom of heaven and the principles of the heaven and the kingdom of god to come and he taught his disciples why because he taught them to do what he would do hey! people of god hear me there are 5000 who will eat the fish and the bread and walk away home and will be hungry again but there will be the 72 out of the 5000 who will say i have been touched by the lord i have the authority and the power to heal the sick to deliver demons and to raise the dead and they will be out of the 5000 72 different you will have what you want from god according to your pursuit don't let hear me don't let the enemy make you pursue god according to his agenda <laughs> take a second this is what is happening in today's christianity today's we 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 are somewhere seeking god according to what we need to survive but god is calling for a revival generation who's going to say i'm not here just to survive i'm going to rise up out of the ashes and i'm going to thrive by the power of the holy ghost it is true it is not by might it is not by power it's by his spirit it is by his spirit but 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 now that is what is happening in the in the book of judges chapter 6 verse 2 now they are they are building systems oh child of god what system have you built yourself which looks too good but doesn't give you the fullness of god that you need to have wow you know it <laughs> everybody knows it slowly step by step we are watching the courage of today's child of god is vanishing ombre sakaya tarab this is why please hear me this is why jesus said when i come back will i find faith because because 
somewhere the temperature of faith is going down some somewhere the temperature of saying that i know my god and i will do great exploits is vanishing slowly but i don't believe it is with us so because somewhere there are a group of people just like here there are many groups of people around the world who are saying my god shall do great and mighty things even now and they're gathering together and saying the holy spirit is about to fall on us and we are going to do great exploits for the lord embrosa kaya taraba so this, this is what is happening okay now now look so so see i want to show you something can i can i show you a tactic of the enemy yeah. the enemy is a very sly one he is such a meticulous planner just for the sake because he has lived longer than any of one of us here he studied he studied people he studied generations he has studied your parents your their parents he has studied your lineage he has studied you from the time you were a baby and he knows how to oppress you when he wants to but we are less informed sometimes look at this look at his strategy can we can we quick bible reading okay verse 3 uh, pastor verse 3 says mm-hmm. so it was whenever israel had sown Midianites would Ooh, come up. Oh, wait a wait a minute, wait a minute. So he would not come when they have done nothing. Oh, come on, come on. The enemy will only come to you when you have something. Yeah. Some of us are sitting and saying, why does the enemy attack me more? Oh, there there is the answer. Because there's something in your life for God. There's something in your life which is about to sprout. There's something that you're going to be used for God, and that is why he's coming when you're about to be doing production hey come on look whenever israel had sown ah, how did he know the timeline wow come on come on he didn't come when they were idle and doing nothing he came when they were about to do something worth while hey look at this so when you are doing nothing for god he doesn't care when you're not an opposer of anything he's doing he does not care but the day you say i'm shifting the gear i want to be somebody for god i want to do something in my generation oh he's like who's this all of a sudden saying i will do something for the lord then he's ready okay, let's read there in nights would come up also mm-hmm. amalekites and the people of the east would come up against them mm-hmm. then they would encamp against them and destroy the produce of Oof. the earth as far as gaza and leave no sustenance for israel neither sheep nor ox nor donkey for wow. they would come up with their livestock and their tents coming in as numerous as locusts both they and their camels were without number and they would enter the land to destroy it look look it was they would come all strategic come surround the people of god and loot them at this point i'm for sure it looks impossible to recover don't tell me it looks it looks like it's only in the movies we see like you know something like you know they all rose up you know and they you know but this point it looks impossible yeah. but something i've seen in god he is looking in the midst of an impossibility to prove that he's still god yeah. and today of all the days if i'm preaching this god is speaking hear me god is speaking loud and clear to you yeah. to you personally in the midst of every impossibility god is about to do something that is about to shock your system he's about to ombra sakataya he's about to resurrect some of you into an identity and into a call which you have been waiting to step into from years and you're about to step into that now in this season robo zante bakasaya raba Robonia I I'm can I just say one vision I'm just seeing a vision 
He says, I'm seeing this vision again. Somebody's heart that beats here. You know, it begins to palpitate. It begins to like, there is irregular heartbeat. I'm talking to somebody here, irregular heartbeat. It goes like as if like it's on a music track. It's going up and down. In the night, I'm prophetically telling. In fact, I already sense who that is, but I won't call you out in public in this moment later on, you know. But, but hear me out. It's as if like even in the night when you sleep, you're feeling your heart go like a car engine. There is no rest. There is absolute chaotic rhythm on your heart. But today as you're hearing this word, I decree and declare over you in the name of Jesus, a supernatural healing is being pushed into your heart. Somebody open your mouth and say, I receive and take it in. In this ministry, I don't even have to lay hands. It works at the command of a prophetic declaration. Your doctor will be surprised. Your doctor will be shocked. Because that ir seismic, I don't know what that is. Irregular heartbeat is about to be fixed. Says the Spirit of God. You're going to come down all of a sudden. Your, your, your levels are going to be normal again in the name of Jesus. So this is what happens, okay? So Israel, verse 6. Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. And the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. Every time you see this, there is a missing link that comes back called crying out to the Lord out of your discomfort. What is it about us? We only end up crying genuinely. I, I have noticed this, that there is a cry which is heard by God. There is a cry that is heard by God. There is a fake cry and there is a real cry. Oh, if you had kids, you know. You know, you, if you see kids, you know. Sometimes they are simply, ah, they're crying and you know it's not real. But there is a moment they really cry. And they're telling, you're the only, I am bro, Saka. You're the only one that can answer me. You're the only one that can deliver me. You're the only one's hand that can pull me out of this impossibility. When that kind of cry begins to surface, God is about to answer. My Bible says that when the Israelites began to cry out to God, God came down, saw their tears, heard their cry, and he came down and he raised a Moses. You know, have you noticed people say that, that, that when God made a promise to Abraham and said, your people, 400 years, they will be in bondage. Correct? And he said, but then I will come and deliver them. But what you see is when finally the Israelites began to cry out, God began to answer, not at 400, at 390th year. He began to raise up a Moses. What is it about God? God will raise up a voice among you. To proclaim his agendas over you. This is the way of the Lord. Every time God wants to deliver something. He does not do it without his announcement. Hey. You know there are scriptures in the Bible which will terrify us when we read it. It says, God will do nothing unless he speaks to his prophets. What kind of a scripture is that? What? So, you're, you, know, you know, it's in Amos. Come on, uh, media team, can you bring it? Oh, this already. Surely the Lord God does nothing. Everybody say nothing. nothing. Unless he reveals his his, his secret to his servants, the prophets. There is always a revealing of a secret. An announcing of an arrival from the mouthpiece of God. This is why even I had to announce somebody's healing for their heart. There might be, 
this is what Jacob said. I am, I am sleeping here all night, but I did not know that the presence of God was in this place until he saw a dream. Sometimes we human beings, we, we don't recognize what is happening in our atmosphere until sometimes there is somebody who steps up and begins to announce it, saying, thus says the Lord, this is what the Spirit of God is saying. So you see this? He does nothing unless he reveals his secrets through his servants, the prophets. So you're telling me his nature is like this. This is why there's a John the Baptist. You, you hear it? Yes. This is why Jesus didn't just appear on the scene. He wanted a forerunner. There is a need for an announcing and a proclamation before your breakthrough. And I'm telling you this evening, if you're hearing a proclamation and a declaration, this is the announcement of your breakthrough. You, 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 you can say, why me? Because I prayed for this evening and I prayed for you in my heart, in my mind. I said, God, I don't care about their faith, but I care about my faith with you. Because there are dimensions in the Bible where the Bible says, and Jesus, when they opened up the roof and they began to bring the four, you know, four friends began to bring a, 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 you know, a paralyzed man on the bed. The Bible says, Jesus looked at them and healed him. Him. Jesus looked at their faith and healed him. Oh, Mbrasakata. Robo Zalakayata. May God heal you today looking at your neighbor's faith. Kasata Balaho Zona. Take 30 seconds and somebody thank the Lord. Charge the atmosphere with your praise and thank the Lord. Ezabayata Kasata. Somebody pray in the spirit. Somebody pray in the spirit. Oh my God, this is what the Bible says. The Lord looked at their faith and healed them. Azobotia. Marambra kante balaha. Eromo zakanianta. Elombrobosia. Somebody's nerve condition is being touched this evening. Your nerves. Somebody's nerves are being touched. Shea Moraka Sata. Somebody's circulatory system is being touched. Ezomoyante brazika nianto robosia. Alonto Robozia, Arebra Kante, Arobozia Naba. Father, release that grace all across this room, God. That people will know they are healed. Elomo Zanakayata, Elombro Zatia, Erobo Zambre Katia. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let, let's go a little further here. And then comes a prophet. See this? Connect the dots. You know, they cried out. So Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. That's where we were at. Prophet, uh, and it says, yes. and it came to pass when the children of Israel cried out to the Lord because of the Midianites. Because of the Midianites. Ah, not because they needed God, but because they were being too oppressed. At least we, we do cry like that, right? Somewhere it's also still good in its own way, right? At least, at least because of that we are saying now, Oh Lord Jesus, save me. Oh Lord Jesus, deliver me. Oh Zemaniah. Okay, next, next scripture. Verse 8 says, That the Lord sent a prophet mm -hmm. to the children of Israel who said to them, Thus mm -hmm. says the Lord God of Israel, mm -hmm. I brought you up from Egypt. I want you to notice God's language now. You with me? Yes. Please notice it. And, and apply this parallel to your personal life. Okay? This is what the Bible is saying. Mm -hmm. I brought you up from out of Egypt mm -hmm. and brought you out of the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. And I delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians mm -hmm. and out of the hand of all who oppressed you mm -hmm. and drove them out before you and gave you their land. Ayyo. You will see my excitement why I'm getting excited, okay? Look, in none of these, in nowhere in this scripture, God is telling them you fought the enemy. Look at this. Look at your Bible. None of this scripture says that you delivered yourself. 
you fought the enemy you brought your own deliverance everything god is saying in this verse is i did this for you yeah. look at this and i delivered you out of the hand of the egyptians and out of the hand of all who oppressed you drove them out before you and gave you what yeah. their land so god delivered the people and gave them the land and what i'm learning is they couldn't keep the land yeah. what is it about us god gives you promises and god gives you the license to those promises god would have given you the keys and god has given you his word and he says go possess but we do not once we enter it we still lose it why 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 <laughs> look at this look at this and then then then, then. verse 10 says also i said to you mm -hmm. i am the lord your god mm -hmm. do not fear the gods of the amorites in whose oh. land you dwell mm -hmm. but you have not obeyed my That's voice that's the catch oh. hey. give it to me yes. what is the evil now god is talking oh my gosh wow. what is the evil god is so not happy about your fear of the enemy you're very quiet you're very quiet you know, no, 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 look please look at this again i am the lord your god do not i said to you do not fear the gods of the amorites basically god is saying i gave you a showdown in midst of a moses who called signs and wonders from heaven he split the red sea for you he walked through dry land you walked with him you experienced all the glory of god in your living but now you're still fearing the enemy as if your faith in him is more than your faith in me wow. i want to take a minute here what is really fear it's your faith in the enemy that he will accomplish oh hear me that he will accomplish what is planned against your life fear is you expecting what has not happened yet and yet it is so powerful break that backbone of that fear today just with this one word i'm about to say think differently it has not happened yet hey robo zakata everything you're fearing child of god has not come to pass yet but we are looking at it and saying i have faith in what negativity is about to happen look hear me it has not happened yet it is your faith in the negativity of the enemy's hand towards you it has not happened yet tell your neighbor that which thing you're dreading about has not yet happened it's not fully accomplished yet so don't don't live like it's already over wow romo zakataya melentom robozia and 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 this is what god's answer is you know fear the gods of the amorite god is saying you are fearing the powers of these people and god is saying do not fear them and god is saying in whose land you dwell but you have not obeyed my voice so what is the obedience to god's voice when you obey god's voice you're not going to fear because you know who's backing you yes yes marombo zakani antarabazia god has kept a unique door for you my brother this one god has kept a unique for you he kept a, yes i'm talking to you god has kept a unique door for you o rakombra saya alanto nombro kanti ana masaka dianta a door of a kind which which not everybody will land you will land a specific door made for you because there's something about you you're drawn to the personality of a david eh zakataya he's saying wow he's saying wow 
because there's something about you that is attracted to God in the secret place. You are a seeker. I'm seeing something in your hands. I'm seeing things in your hands. It's like a small paintbrush, but out of it, it will become like a canvas, says the Spirit of God. What he has put in your hands is about to multiply. There is coming a phase upon your life, my dear, that you will keep looking back and say, did this even happen with me? What did I even walk through this path? And you will look back and you will begin to laugh at it because my Redeemer lives and he shall have the last say upon your life is about to happen. There is coming a season in your life, you're going to look back and say, was that even me? Because something is about to happen. You're going to go from transition to transition and you will say, oh my God, I didn't know that this God was this faithful. He's about to shock you with his faithfulness. There is, there is, there is, I'm seeing one praying lady who's been praying for you. Is this making any sense to you? Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah this, this woman has prayed for you. Your faith has remained through certain storms. In fact, two and a half years ago, there's one kind of a storm that came which almost kind of put you upside down. But today you're still here because of those prayers. Yeah. Oh, God is going to unlock your hands. God is about to unlock your hands. Make your face like a flint and keep going. And you will see what only my God can do through you. Korabasia. You will rise up like a David. Out of the valley, you will come up to the mountaintop. Zatea. I don't know what caused you to come today, but this is an appointment for you, my dear. Oh, there's anointing like that of a David wants to visit you. Okay, this is what the Bible says. The God is saying, uh, I'm, I'm not screaming at you guys, I'm just excited. But you have not obeyed my voice. What is, what is that you didn't obey? Not to fear. Why do you fear? Why do we fear? Because somewhere we lost our identity. More than faith, we lost our identity. The identity is you are my people. Ah, come on now. So, somewhere we have thought that God has let go of us. That God doesn't care anymore. Today, may that peace of your heart be restored. I feel his heartbeat for some of you. He's saying, why my child are you telling me that I don't care anymore? You should be happy that even he's speaking this still to you. He is God and he doesn't have to answer you in this fashion. That's your pity party. You asking your maker, oh, why you made me? <laughs> you made a pot and the pot is saying, why you made me? I have a hobby. <laughs> but you're not like that. Hear me? That was a joke. But you are not like that. He shed his blood for you. He gave his most prized possession called his only begotten son for you. Oh, don't ask him, do you care for me? Put that thought ascender to the side because he does care for you even for the hair strand that is falling out of your hair. So don't question him. Don't question him. But rather you come to this place and say, God, help me to understand your ways. And today I hear the, the, the spirit of God speaking over somebody and saying, today I'm restoring your trust back to me. You're not obeyed my voice. Few more minutes, okay? So God's complaint through his messenger to the Israelites was, you feared. Your fear in that enemy looked like faith in the devil. Ouch. Is that not true? Sometimes your faith in the devil looks like faith in him. More than faith in your God. Wow. How? How did we reach here? 
you thought it is just a small fear no it's broken trust now ombra sakataya melonto ombrosi kanionto robozia my dear don't don't cry over the friends who left you i'm talking to you don't cry over people who 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 make fun of you and who left you god always has people assigned for your life erobo zakati andara he's going to bring you to a group which will be for you 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 know it feels like you have to always keep running along them to match up to them it's okay don't don't bother because sometimes god is removing some things to give you something new let it happen take peace erobo zakati and and this this is what happens can we can oh the man of god is there thank you thank you pastor i will read this for you look was leaven are you with me yeah. are you with me yeah. are you with me god is the god not just he knows how to heal our hearts i'm still talking to you he know how, he knows how to heal our hearts you know sometimes these questions that we keep running in our mind is okay i'm talking to you yeah. feels keeps running in our mind why what went wrong sometimes there's no logic it's better you don't try to understand a logic because some things are not meant to journey for long some things are not meant to be there and when it is removed don't cry if something dies don't die with it you rise up and find i'm i'm telling you i'm talking in parables you know i know god knows all right but god is about to bring something new so be at peace Look, look, the next verse, okay? Verse 11 says, Prophet. Oh, this is powerful. Are you ready for this? Yeah. This, this, this is beautiful, okay? He says, I'm keeping it light today because it's ablaze, you know? Okay, let's go. Verse 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth tree, which was in Ophrah. Something about God. This is what is happening right now. Please hear me. When you cry out to him, He will not just give you a correction. He brings down a solution. <laughs> the one who condemns you is the devil. <laughs> the one who convicts you is God and then on the side he brings a solution. He told you guys feared the enemy and I and he's telling I'm upset. God is saying I'm upset with you guys. You heard the voice of the enemy, you feared what he can do. But now he's saying let me help you. Amen. No sickness shall have any power. Amen. I'm declaring over you both don't fear any sickness in your family or anywhere. God has given the power to break every infirmity. Anything small anything big you will have power over it. I'm speaking to you my dear. There is power to break the backbone of every infirmity in the name of Jesus. If you believe tonight as you go you'll begin to see those visiting migraine headaches stop those those tension headaches stop and all of a sudden those those flashes of like you know what what do you feel i i don't know what's the right word to use those anxiety thing whatever comes from a distance it will end because god is lighting over you i see an oil being poured on you roko zana you're precious to the lord You are precious to the Lord. Melonto even you to you precious to the Lord. Something is happening. Please, I know I want to tell you this as I'm preaching the word things are happening behind the scenes. Oh Rakombra Sika, Eromonianto. There are some people in this room who are worshipers unto the Lord. As you worship to the Lord in this season, great and mighty breakthroughs are about to visit you. Katabala Zayantaraba. See this is what God does. This is what God does. Feels like I'm rushing because I just want to keep my time, you know. Now the angel of the Lord came. Something about God. He tells people, he tells the Israelites, I didn't like you feared those gods. They didn't know what to do after that. When you don't know what to do, God knows what to do next. This is the beauty of our God. When you don't know what to do next, he knows. He knows the next step. Amen. You're like, "Okay, God, I did not obey. I missed it. I missed the memo. I messed it up. 
So what? Are we done? His silence is not your expiry. you are sitting right now and feeling God's silence is killing me. No, 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 no. He's not killing you. His angels are working behind the scenes. His angels are at work. Maybe you can't see them, but God knows what he's doing. Oh, and this is what happens. Now the angel of the Lord came. Who came? Okay. The angel of the Lord came and sat under one tree. How do you say it? How do you say it? Terebeth. Okay, you getting it? I don't want to. Terebeth 3, which was in? Ophrah. Ophrah. Which belonged to Joash. The? While his son Gideon threshed wheat in the wine press in order to hide it from the Midianites. Oof, too much of a resume right now. <laughs> Clear cut resume of this. Gideon right now. Wow. Look, I don't know why God does what he does. He sends an angel for this guy who's so scaredy cat who is threshing wheat in a wine press. What an idea. I don't know how efficient it was. If you, if you don't know wine press and uh, wheat, uh, it's two different things. It's not grapes and, you know, oranges. It's grapes and wheat. You were all very serious. And he was doing this to hide. Some of you are living your life hiding. You want to keep disappearing. You don't want to come out and do anything. You want to keep hiding. And this is what the Bible says. And God was favored and favorable enough to a Gideon. He sends an angel to come. And the angel had to search. Hey, where is this guy? Maybe the angel went and went to some wine presses and he's like, hey, where is this guy? He's not here. He's not there. And the angel had to come looking for Gideon's address. God knows your address. Nobody knows where you are, but I have to decree and declare over you. My God knows where exactly you are in your life. Oh, you, you can, you can, you can check me, you can check the God, but, but God knows too much. God, God is like, you know, I, I, I know where he is. God exactly knows where you are. He knows how you are hiding, how you are scared. And this is what the Bible says. In order to hide it from the Midianites, he thought he did his best but not as best as it could disappear from the eyes of God. Wow. Let's read verse 12. Verse 12 says, And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Wow. Hold on. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him. So, he's not expecting any visitors. All of a sudden there's an appearance. As dramatic as it feels, there's an appearance of an angel. So now, if the angel has appeared, it's so dramatic, we need to know what's going to happen next. Okay, what is he going to do? And the angels say something. Hear this. Appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is... You mighty man of valor. Oh, my dear angel. Are you confused? Are you take, you're talking to the same guy, right? Or God is with you, mighty man of valor, and you're hiding in a... You're not getting it? And he's hiding. He's a scaredy cat right now. And God is coming and through an angel. And the Lord appears, angel of the Lord appeared to him. And said to him, the Lord is with you. God was reconstructing that which was broken in that generation. Oh, you didn't hear me. Now you need to hear me. God was reconstructing a truth which was erased from the memory of that generation. 
they had forgotten their god was with them my bible says nothing is impossible with god listen the secret sauce is simple with god the secret to any impossibility to bow down its knees to the name of jesus is with god with 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 god can i explain this if i say i'm having coffee with him i can't have one cup there one cup here and only i'm drinking and he's not there and say i had coffee with uh, pastor conner no it doesn't work like that he has to be there so the the secret sauce for everything in your life is with god somebody say this with god with god and this is what the bible says nothing is impossible with god you know that that with eh, it's a double edged sword is is not saying uh, nothing is impossible god is saying with god so who is with god wow. you are part of this equation without you no impossibility is bowing its knees you thought you thought it's only because of god but god is saying with god meaning you know you with me still yes yes you're with me still so the equation is with god so who's on the other side <laughs> talk to me talk to me with god we understand with god but from this angle okay if i'm saying with god so from this angle who is with god come on shout it out yes. you are needed for your breakthrough yes. don't disappear from your breakthrough yes. the reason for israel's impoverishment was because they disappeared with god wow. they disappeared from being with god and god began to reconstruct it as he sent a word he sent a word he sent one word through an angel of the lord and all that the angel had to do was not pour oil massage his head make him roll on the floor no 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 the angel said one thing the lord is with you i am brosaka taya i want to tell you if you are a child of god greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world uh, come on somebody if let me say it one more time if you are a saved if you believe in the lord jesus who is with you in the inside greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you have to come to the recognition of an identity that he is surely with you yes. i'm telling you you will read the rest of the story of gideon and you feel like i don't know what happened to this scaredy cat brother he came and slaughtered the enemy left right and center and he rose up as a mighty man of god but it all began with one sentence and that was the lord is with you oh touch somebody and say the lord is with you come on declare it you need to say it oh you need to say i don't care what's happening in your life but the lord is with you come on somebody prophesy to your neighbor araba sakatai oh take few minutes tell them i don't care what's happening with you but i know for one thing god is with you you are hearing this word the lord is with you somebody tell yourself the lord the lord is with me oh come on now listen listen if you think something is about to happen i am here to declare something is happening right now your spirit man is hearing a word and the word is saying the lord is with you arazaka malambro zakayata the lord is with you and you know this is where everything goes crazy from here the lord is with you and the lord is saying something you with me are you with me the lord the angel is saying the lord is with you the lord is with you and the lord is defining the you come on somebody clap for the lord not according to what your mother said not according to what your father said not according to what your school said cabrachekasia melantom brokosia not according to the failures of your past not according to the disappointments of yesterday not araba zakataya merobrokosia naba not according to what broke what got vanished what 
dismissed itself what mess up happened god is forgetting the history and he's declaring a new mystery he's saying he's saying i am with you but i want to define the you to you he's saying Are you with me the lord's angel is saying the lord is with you with you and the you god is defining the new you this is the gap with with the believers of today they confess everything the lord has said and the lord will do but you don't believe in yourself hey come on just for one reason because he believes in you more than you believe in yourself why would he invest in you and say you are the temple of the holy spirit why because you have the capacity to host god in this generation you heard me oh i don't know if somebody is getting it may the fire of god begin to fall on your bones right now melanta brasaka tia lobozia see if god said your body is a temple of the holy spirit how is he inviting himself inside of you because he knows he has put a capacity inside of you to host god wow and we are here sitting oh i'm no good i'm good for nothing stop it stop resonating the rhymes of the enemy stop it that is not who you are your identity is something different you are a man of wella oh rabba sakataya oh the angel of the lord is so meticulous the lord is with you and then he says you might him and of wella because god is about to partner with some people who are going to be set on fire for god and god is saying I'm about to walk with you but I'm telling you how you will walk with me. You will walk with me as a man of vela. Tabasata. Some of you are about to rise up and go against every odd. I'm telling you in the name of Jesus, some of you are about to go against all odds and you will Maram rogozia alante maroko salabayanta. Where are my people? Jede Brionto the Lord is with you oh you mighty man of vela the best news is this he was no where a man of vela you with me or not am i am i screaming at you it's just i get excited There's one place my excitement is too hard to be controlled that's the word of god no. okay hear hear me this is what you know you know in in reality there's nowhere this guy looks like a mighty man of vela he is doing wheat press where in where is the vela this is how hear me closely this is how it will look to you when god is speaking to you this is how it looks to you right now when the word of god is coming to you but i have news for you the word of god is spirit and life jesus said the words that i speak unto you are life and spirit something was happening inside of gideon a man of valor was being raised up inside of gideon's life there was a man of valor standing up Oh rakasaya na borion to robo today today in the mighty name of Jesus God is partnering with some of you come on open your mouth and pray in the spirit God is you know if 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 you if you are somebody who has come God I have a need listen l- look at me right now you're me you know this is what I'm going to give you this secret sometimes our needs please sometimes our needs we are looking for it to be met from the outside but when god is partnering with you he will create in you to achieve that need for yourself it's very simple kidian was sitting and guarding himself and he thought help is going to come from somewhere amazing he thought help was coming from some awesome warrior coming from the outside but god came and said the warrior is inside of you yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. this 
is the secret of God. What If God has a promise for you, He's given the provision inside of you. If He's declaring something, He has already put it inside of you. You are sitting and thinking, how do I manufacture it? God is saying, embrace this identity. I'm giving you. You're no more a timid Gideon who is a nobody. You're a Gideon visited by the Lord through his word and I have declared over you, you are a mighty man of Vela. You're not anything else. You're a man of Vela. You're a man of Vela. I don't know if we have more time to go today. Can I take five more minutes? Okay, verse 13. I won't expound it. I'll just tie it up nicely to you. Verse 13 Mm -hmm. says, Gideon said to him, Mm -hmm. Oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? Wow. And where are all these miracles? Mm -hmm. Which our fathers told us about, Mm -hmm. saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? Mm -hmm. But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. You know, this is where if somebody had spoken to you, you would have disconnected that friendship right there. You're, You're crying. You are talking with self-pity. My life is broken. I, all this is happening. And then this angel is like, you know what? Go in this might. What? You don't, you don't understand my English right now? You're all very quiet. Is this making sense? And this is God. Oh, so, so you're telling me this is how God speaks? Oh, so God does not converse with your pity party. God has no relationship for the broken pity you, pity me. God doesn't have a relationship with the complainer in you who doesn't trust the God who's in you. But God has all the ways to talk to the one whom he's talking to. He's not talking to the pity party Gideon. He's talking to the man of valor Gideon. The Bible says when, when, when everybody attacked the men of David and they took their wives, their children and they plundered their campsite and everybody wanted to stone David and wanted him to die. And the Bible says, David encouraged himself in the Lord. Listen to me. I want you to get one thing. In your lowest point, still there is a God side of you in you. Because do not forget you are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a body. Your soul might have a pity party crying, God has left me, forsaken me, I'm good for nothing. And your body is full partnership, crying, rolling on the floor. But there is a spirit side of you which is looking to the Holy Spirit and saying, what do you say? Ah, What's the deal now? And that side of God is telling you, rise up. There is a man of God inside of you. There is a woman of God inside of you. Listen to me. The day the man of God and the woman of God inside of you begins to respond. Oh my God. You're doing miracles. You're writing history. You're walking on water. I don't know what you're about to do. But there are plans for you in the Lord. Okay. Okay. See, see this is what. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours. What might? Hmm? The Lord... You know, this is what the Bible says, right? Go in this might of yours and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. This is the key. Have I not sent you? Oh, hold on. Look, I will close. But hear this secret. God is saying, go in this might which I have spoken over you. Even though you feel There's no manifestation. But if you can choose what I've spoken over you, like a command to your spirit. Not to your soul, which is pity party. Oh God, I you don't care about me, you don't love. Not that side of you. In your spirit, 
there is a word that is spoken to you and that word is telling you go in this might of yours and god is saying you shall save israel from the hand of the midianites have i not sent you here when you just obey his command in your spirit you are not going alone oh please somebody get this the moment you hear his command you might feel as a nobody but when you respond not just react you respond through that command you are not going by yourself you're going with him have i not sent you oh zala bayon to robosia god is about to deal with some of you because god is wanting you to go back and get victory where you lost in verse 16 i won't go into more details here verse 16 and the lord said to him surely i will be with you and you shall defeat the midianites as one oh my goodness you will defeat the midianites like what okay. open your mouth and say it okay. i have news for you all that the enemy is doing against your life you're about to defeat it like one man yeah. it was a sea of locusts like it said right they all came up against israel but god is declaring over gideon like one man you'll give one slap and one it's like that one slot you will get this armies against god down or robo zalaka and i am here to tell you some of you are about to experience that kind of a spiritual growth or robo sakataya come on pray in the spirit we are done now we we are about to come on i want to pray with you lente brokosi alaba lonto robo zanamaya Arante brosike ti andorobo ezoni ante rebosia arobo shatera ba open your mouth and start talking to the lord zenemia alente brokosia you are my hiding place arobo jatea elembro na konti alabo zakani antaraba some you know right now there something is happening as you're praying the spirit of god is pushing new strength to your system you will begin to experience tiredness is about to leave some of you tiredness is about to leave him can you just tap on him the spirit of god is saying he's removing tiredness out of your system i'm hearing the spirit of god impart new strength to you oh rabbas your your night season is about to be restored you'll begin to sleep with good rest again ezoboyata azala bayonte rebokosia now come on pray in the spirit everybody god is 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 releasing come on everybody pray god is releasing fresh strength to your bones azatabaya embro sakataya elomos as you're praying and as you're talking to the lord strength is coming into you i don't even have to lay hands on you strength is coming into your system azabata ezokoya alanto no promozika melenti makorianta lord let your power begin to flow in this room i open the flood gates of power right now flow into this room kazabrianta raba elomos sakatia lord everybody that's hungry who has heard the word let the word of god begin to work in their systems right now lord i command kidneys to work i command bladders to be healed i command testicles to be healed azakata embrasaka olomo zikanianto robosia oh my god the power of god is flowing right now you are my hiding place Ezenemea halamonto brosika mambra taka saka taya rabaha oh the lord is in in infusing longevity you shall not die but you shall live and declare the works of the lord mezeni onto robozia rabrahazia you cannot come 
Abraham might not go without receiving a gift from the Lord. Where's the ushers? Merobo zia nabra hasataraba. Father, I release the power of longevity in the mighty name of Jesus. Mezia anto robo zikatia. Arabo zalaya taraba. Membro zakatia raba hozike. Melete. Come on, are you praying? Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Mata brasakate. I'm seeing the Lord touch your knees. The Lord is touching your knees. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I release the grace of God over her knees. Be strengthened. Every knee joint. Unlock. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mazaka alaba. Membros. Things are happening in this place. Somebody's eyesight is being corrected. Mataba zakataya. Malonto brobozia. Erobo zikatia. Arente brokosia. Come on, pray in the spirit. Talk to the Lord. It is not in me. It is the God whom you came for. Erobo zia. Alante bakatia. Alobo zebrayanto robo. You are my hiding place. Just worship the Lord with me. You are with songs of deliverance. Oh, whenever you are afraid, I will trust in. Somebody tell God, I trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say, I am The power of God is flowing in this room. I will trust in you. Somebody pray this to the Lord. Tell God, you are my hiding place. to bless you with fresh life and I want you to believe this that there will be no hardening of anything everything is being made brand new in the name of Jesus put your hands on your heart for me quickly father in the name of Jesus I release the power of God flow the Lord loves you. He is picking you up for the second time and He's declaring over you, I have a plan and a purpose for your life. Your life will not be according to what is spoken, but it will be according to His declaration. Come on, worship the Lord, talk to the Lord. Come on, 
The deals that never came for you are about to come back to you. Arabo Sati Cabra Melonto no Bromosia Merondo Robra. I'm seeing you for the first time, but the Lord has made you very sharp. God is restoring that oil all over you. Receive fresh oil in the mighty name of Jesus. Shikabriyonto Robozika. Can you both step out? Can you both step out? Yes. Malante Brokozia. Watch her head. Ozika Brasakata. Eroboniento Robozia. There is something. That's right there. It's fine. There is something about you. Can you just step back a little, sir? That way. There's, there's something about the call of God. Come on, worship team. Keep singing. The Lord wants to unlock an oil today and may the oil be unlocked as you lift your hands. Just stretch forth your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, dreams and visions of another kind. Take it in the mighty name of Jesus. Mazala Boyonto Robozia. You'll be a man of faith and a man of the word. You will decree a thing. And you will see it come to pass in this season. Begin to decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Malabra, Erobo, Zakatia. Can somebody bring Sandra out? Matabra, Sikotia. Malabra, Sekoni, Antaraba. Membro, Bosia. Come, Dwight. Come. I think it's okay you enjoy from there. I'm about to tell you something. As I was watching you, as I was preaching, there was a dark cloud standing behind you in a far distance. And it has been whispering all sorts of lies to you. But today, I come in the name of Jesus to decree and declare those clouds are not hovering anywhere near you anymore. And the cloud of light and the cloud of the power of God is coming back on you. I see silver linings. I see restoration. I see God raising you up like a wellspring of water. Receive that grace. The mighty name of Jesus. Come, come, my dear, come. La brobo zika tia raba baba, mambro tia andoro bozia, membro kosia nambra hasaka tia andaraba zikori andoro bo. Do you want God to use you? Oh, remosia taka salabri andoro bozia. Stretch forth your hands, Father. The grace of that oil, from the drop of his head to the soles of his feet. It's flowing like electricity all over him, God. Lord, this is not a small one. He's a mighty man of Vela. I release that grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hear me. God will unlock wealth to you. Wealth. Can somebody thank the Lord? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we have time restrictions here, so we will have to close this. Oh, God loves you. God loves you. God loves all of you. Thank you for coming. You, you have a very tender heart. The Lord says, do not fear to you. People have let you down. People said, I will journey with you, but they have let you down. I 
feel the heart of God for you. You because you've seen people and they easily have you know done things and you're like, oh, why do they treat me like this? But may the Lord heal your heart. May the Lord heal your heart, sir. You he has already spoken to you. May the love of God come upon you. There is no love like his. Father, touch him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Fresh love. Any suicidal thoughts that has come to anybody in this room, I arrest you in the name of Jesus right now. I arrest every suicidal spirit. You shall not be cancelled out of this living. You shall live and you shall not die and you shall declare the works of my Lord Jesus. His name is Jesus. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Lord every suicidal spirit I have arrested it today. You shall have no more claim over these people who are here. You will whisper but they will not hear you anymore I have cancelled your claim by the blood of Jesus it is done father I thank you for what you've done today everybody rise up to your feet and stretch forth your hands people are on the floor they can be help them if they are okay or let them be stretch forth your hands and just tell this to God. Lord Jesus. Somebody tell the Lord. Lord Jesus. I love you. Because you first loved me. Lord I shall not fear anymore. Oh my God. As you're saying that. Some demons are getting upset right now. Oh my God. Say that one more time. Lord Jesus. I shall not fear anymore I have not been given a spirit of fear open your mouth and say it but of power of love and of a sound mind and today I, I acknowledge and I accept your word I receive the spirit of courage and valor and I shall defeat the enemy in my life Within my lifetime, I shall win certain wars, which, oh, Rabbah Zakataya. I want to declare over you, some wars, hear me, I know when I speak this. I know who sent me. And I stand in the authority of the one who sent me, and my boss's name is Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you, there are some battles, you've you, you fought it your whole of your lifetime. Feels impossible. But today I decree and declare of you, go and check from today. There is a grace coming for you to have courage and wella in that area. And you will overcome what your fathers could not and your forefathers could not. But you will overcome it in the name of Jesus. You shall not fear, but you shall be a man and a woman of valor. So says the Spirit of God, and so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Celebrate! Somebody clap for the Lord. Somebody thank the Lord.